Hey everyone, Double P here and welcome back. So today's trading session is uh, Tuesday, February the 15th, 2022. And today we attacked uh, MRNA, so Moderna. And today, so let's just go over this right here so that you see it. Here's my account. If I'm not looking at you as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at my screens over here. So you see where it says here, uh, margin account and people always ask me well, why does it say partially delayed data well stock is in real time Amex New York Stock Exchange NASDAQ all real time feeds equity options is real time feeds and futures and futures options I don't trade them the feeds are delayed on that Forex real time others in real time so real time account and you see right there it says margin so today we drew the box let me come over here so that you kind of see it a little bit better. Today we drew the box and I sent out the trade to my guys. If it went above a certain price point, you can see here I marked off all my price points right here off to the side. And uh, what did Moderna decide to do? Well, Moderna decided to uh, rip. All right, so it was here in pre-market right here, and it was moving, then it dipped. And then these two candles really, uh, you know, they kind of messed me up because I'm on the TTM squeeze right here, and it fired. And then you see right here, there's a reversal. So it's firing green, but it's on the downtrend, which is what it's supposed to do. And then this right here, this right here totally screwed me up with this TTM squeeze. This is why I don't really use the TTM squeeze that much. Um, I haven't used it in months. Today I decided to use it just to test it out. And this was the reversal right here. And as you see the candles rip right here before pre-market. So I decided to go long and I want the 155 uh, calls on it. And you see what happened, it ripped right here to 147.50 and then decided to just take a dump big 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 huge dump right and I was a little bit uh, hesitant on pulling the trigger on getting out I should have got out right here on this level because when these three candles consider these three candles right here one big candle so this one big candle is right here. And this one big red candle took out all these green candles. And it just plummeted down to, as you see here, <clears throat> a 139, a 139.21. And then it, can, and it just went right back up. But I should have stayed with my uh, strategy, which is the box. So if this thing breaks out of the box and it sits there, this thing is going to push back into the box because of where it opened it opened up in the box and this is just resistance this is just a cloud of resistance where this stock is going to have trouble pushing through now it's kind of pushing through right here but it wouldn't have mattered because i would have took my put position right here and i would have made my money and i would have been in and i would have been out and this is like the death zone anyways that box so I mean, I, I'm not going to knock the TTM squeeze. It's kind of my own fault. I should just, I should have just followed my own strategy, which is what I've been using for the last seven months. Today, I decided to use the TTM squeeze, and it faked me out, um, and it cost me. So over, over here, you see right here, um, so I took the... Uh, the 218 20 to 22 uh, 155 call strikes for Moderna and hit a high up here uh, but it just wasn't enough as you can see right here Moderna is just struggling so we took a loss so let's see over here what my loss was today we took a loss of the 37 35 so on um, that was the play for today didn't pan out, uh, for, so it was a loss of 37.35. No problem. We lick our wounds, and uh, we come back to trade another day. So you see here, it's still inside of the box, and that's what it does. 
So uh, I think this is the third red day for 2022. So not bad, not good. I don't like taking red days. But the lesson learned here is I decided to go against my own rules today. I decided to implement and use the TTM squeeze. Not blaming the TTM squeeze because it faked me out. It showed me a reversal and the reversal did happen. But I should have just uh, knew that uh, with my strategy, my quant driven strategy right here, this is the death zone. I should have just waited because it opened up inside of here. So when it opens up inside of this death zone, it's going to come right back to it and it's going to stay in it and it's going to be trading in a range. So today is most likely going to be a range bound day just above the box, but it's going to always hit this hit this quant box. So uh, my trade should have been uh, no trade today or I should have looked for another trade, uh, not so much trading Moderna, but it is what it is. That's the win. So. Somewhere in this video, we're going to see a link. It's our only a third red day uh, for 2022. So January, February going into March. Not bad. Pretty good. So there's a link somewhere in that video. Click the link. Head on over to the site. Love to have you as a member. You learn from your uh, green days. You learn from your red days, right? <clears throat> I don't think any other trader is going to show you real-time stats and real-time trades like this. Why? because they got something to hide. I got nothing to hide. This is 100% transparency, you've seen everything. So like I said, trading in a box, this is gonna be a range bound day, most likely for Moderna. It's gonna be inside of this box. So you're just gonna get whipped around and chopped around. So this is the type of a day where, um, I mean, this is the type of day where you wanna put on a spread if you're looking at putting on a spread intraday. So you're looking at maybe putting on a uh, credit spread or a debit spread, most likely in this situation here, just because the way the volume is today, the volume is uh, literally 20, it's, it's like 3 million shares being traded. So the daily average is 8 million. So it's less than half. So like maybe 25%. So it's a range bound kind of a day. Excuse me. So smash that like button, smash that like button, smash that like button. And what I will do is I will see you on the other side in another trading session. Take care, everybody.